Today is an incredibly exciting day in my kitchen, and that's because Freakish comes out on Hulu. You can stream all of the episodes. It's a TV show that I did. It's like a thriller, horror, teen show thing. It's so good, it's so cool. You can also check it out on Tumblr if you guys want. I'll have the links for that down below. But I'm having my friends over who were in the show, and we're actually going to watch some of the episodes together because we haven't seen the whole thing yet. So I'm really excited, they're really excited, and I thought we should make something that's kind of like freaky and like a little spooky. But then I realized that so much of that stuff is like really gross looking and like not fun. So then I was like, what about a red velvet lava cake? You cut it open, it kind of looks like it bleeds, but you're not sicked out and you still want to eat it. This is my logic. So a lot of thought process went into this. So I hope you guys like it. Let's make a lava cake. So I'm first gonna start by putting my white chocolate with my butter and then melting it. You can use a double boiler, broiler, boiler. It's a boiler, right? I never say it right. I always Google search it and then whatever. You could use a double boiler to melt this and like stir it all together, but honestly, I like doing it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and then stop and check it and stir it, 30 seconds, stop, check it. I honestly feel like that's the way that I won't mess it up. If I put it over the stove, one time I was trying to make whipped cream and I just kept whipping the cream and then I, it turned into butter. So I need stuff that's like short, quick, fast. Pay attention, keep paying attention. I'm gonna melt that and then we'll be back. So I'm first gonna start off by putting powdered sugar into my melted chocolate and butter mixture, which smells and looks incredible. Uh, butter just reminds me of dipping seafood into butter. Into a big bowl, I'm gonna add two eggs and two egg yolks, and then I'm gonna whisk that together. Originally, when we were coming up with ideas for this, I was like, maybe we'll do something that we ate in Freakish, but once you see the only food that you've ever seen us eat in Freakish, you'll understand why I didn't wanna make it. It's not the good kind of nachos. This is the moment where you see my arm flexing and there's no muscle. Next, I'm gonna add in red food coloring, and for this, I'm actually using like a bakery emulsion that's specific for red velvet, just because with red velvet, you don't want any excessive amount of food coloring, because then you might start tasting it. But you can also use like gel food coloring. I would just advise something that's not going to, you wanna get the color red, but you don't want it, like, it to turn, like it's like, ooh, this tastes red. Do you know what I mean? No, it's fine. I'm gonna add like a tablespoon. Actually, I can eyeball it. Okay, mix it together, and that's ridiculously red. <gasps> This is so cool. Now that's all mixed up and your scrambled eggs are suddenly red scrambled eggs, I'm going to pour the white chocolate and the butter and the powdered sugar into that. Uh-huh, nice and chunky. Now I'm gonna combine flour and cocoa powder into another small bowl. Sometimes I hate doing the dirtying of the dishes where you put lots of things in tiny bowls, but for this, you want it to be fully combined. So mix it up before you mix it in here. And if you're bored while doing this, you could also just like pull up your laptop and watch an episode of Freakish for free on Tumblr right now, or you could watch all of them at once on Hulu. Now that this is combined, I'm going to pour this into the other mixture. I'm gonna whisk this together. does feel kind of blood-like, which is what I was going for, which is the first time I've ever said that in the kitchen. And the powdered sugar, if they get little clumps, it's like, oh, blood clot. Still make it. <laughs> now it's time to put them in the ramekins. I'm putting these in four little ramekins, which are incredibly cute. I got these from Amazon. They were cheap. I like them. I'm only gonna bake off two right now, and I'm gonna wait till my friends come over to make the rest of them, but the recipe makes four. I'm also gonna use a cookie scoop because I don't trust myself pouring at all. This is also a great time to tell you that currently on Tumblr, we are participating in Freak Week, which you can see there's a bunch of like cool games and things you can do and cast members or characters on the show you can side with and then whoever wins and gets the most points during the Freak Week Challenge gets points donated to their charity. And by points, I mean like actual money, not Monopoly money. So if you guys wanna sign up, I'll have that down below. I would clean these up a little bit better, but we're actually gonna be taking them out of the ramekins when they're emptying over, so if the sides are a little dirty, it does not really matter. It's not the presentation. We know I'm all about the presentation. I put these onto a cookie sheet and I'm just going to pop it into a 450 degree oven for 14 to 15-ish minutes. The outside of the cakes, how you know they're done, is the outsides will be like, they'll look done, look like cake, but the insides still look kind of soft. So if it was a normal cake, you'd be like, oh, too soft. But a lava cake, nah. I wanna cut it open, you want lava. A 
Okay guys, I took the red velvet lava cakes out of the oven and now I'm gonna invert it onto a plate and it's time for the tale as old as time. Does it bleed when you cut it? Gross. Also, speaking of gross, my oven mitts. So, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put the plate on top and um, how do you do it? It's a really big plate. Maybe. What if I do this? It's just, it's like a little helter-skelter. It's off to the side. Now I just lift it up. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, should I have run a knife around it at the, before? I can't even tell if I'm putting any pressure on it. Posable thumbs are really important. <laughs> <laughs> I lift it and they can't lift it. Don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> oh, it looks like a donut. What? What did I do wrong? Did I cook it for too long? Why does it look like a butt? Now I'm putting powdered sugar on it to try and hide the fact that it has a hole. Okay, wow, you know it's bad when even powdered sugar can't cover that mistake. Okay guys, now it's time for the disappointment, which I'm pretty sure I already know is coming, that it's not gonna bleed, but. Oh, it bled! Oh, it's happening! Okay, I feel a lot better. It's like a slow ooze. This is like a really slow and painful death. Like characters on Freakish. So I'm not really sure why mine turned out like a donut. I think the top part of it just like collapsed a little bit. Maybe it needed a little more time. Maybe it needed a little less time. All I know, it's the center's oozy goozy. Okay guys, so the red velvet cake kind of turned out to be like a red velvet molten lava donut cake, but you know, donuts are trendy. Who doesn't like donuts? And if it sinks a little bit in the middle, just powdered sugar. It fixes most things. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would love if you guys would check out and watch Freakish. It would be so amazing. It makes me so happy. I love seeing you guys talk about it on social media. It's like my favorite thing to see pictures on like Instagram. I'll have all that information down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media and stay tuned for the next Baking with Megan video and stay tuned for more episodes of Freakish, hopefully, if this one does well. So watch it so I have a, a job because only so many favorite videos you can make in five years. Can you stop hiding and open it? <laughs> wow, that <laughs> thing is really intense. Oh my god, do you do it? Yeah. Okay.